Well, well, well. Welcome to Rice TV Entertainment people. Welcome to this upload to this update. Now, in this one, we have a pretty interesting topic to talk about, to discuss. People, is Baron Messiah ungrateful to dancehall and dancehall music? Of course, I'm just asking a question because I take one look inside the whole matter and I can see where some fans would say he is ungrateful and stuff like that. By the way, the artist actually have a song of forward about that whole ungrateful issue. So yes, the entertainer is about to react to those comments saying he's ungrateful. People, we also have Skeng and Tamali Sparta inside this one. Yesterday, you know, a couple hours ago, Tamali Sparta took to his Instagram account where he posted a photo of him and Skeng. People, you know what? Let's get started. Arise TV, subscribe to the channel, don't be on the wrong panel. Hit the icon with the bell. All right, so people, Let's kick start with the Baron Messiah side of this update. Now, Baron Messiah recently did an interview. Recently did an interview on the fix, or with the fix, and he was basically talking and stating he's not a dancer artist, he's a rapper. He considers himself as a rapper. The young star says he considers himself a rapper because I'm sound. Now, a number of people took a look into all that way, say, and says he's ungrateful. And he might take from dancehall and dancehall artists and now credit dancehall. That's literally what the fans, what the viewers who view the interview and other people, that's what they have to say about this whole situation. With Byron Messiah and him claiming he's not a dancehall artist. Now, before we get to the reaction, Inside the preview, me could talk about how or why is this a problem. Inside some of Byron Messiah's music, some of his releases, I listen his songs personally and I hear dancehall. You know? When I listen him song them, I get dancehall from him. And at times when I listen him song them, me get other artists. You understand? So, I will listen just as an example, Mocha and will receive a valiant vibe from it, a valiant energy. You know, it's almost as if when him did a right mocha, him did a valiant in mind, or him did just listen a valiant, who knows? And nothing is wrong with all this. Because clearly, just from inside his music, him like dancehall. And dancehall inspired this youth. Now people, I can see why some people would say he's ungrateful to dancehall. Because he must sing about mocha, chopping, and all are basically what dancers stand for in these times. You know? I have to be specific and say these times because we are not talk 90s dancer. We are talk where I flood the game right now. Where the young people them like for ear. The dance, the chopping, banging, mocha. You understand? All of that. Now, inside what you're seeing on your screen, it is a preview. Of course, I'm never going to hear the music and so on because of copyright. But inside it, it's like a letter to dancehall. So it's like, dear dancehall, him never mean for offend nobody. How them are talk about him not rate nobody and him have a song with governor and valley. People, the young entertainer said, dear dancehall, a wrong news them are carry. So people, what are your thoughts about this? What do you think about this? You think... With this song, he is still ungrateful or will he be automatically giving credit to dancehall? I mean, I would not say Baron Messiah is ungrateful, but I can see where dancehall music inspired this youth. That's no question, that's a fact. And we can see that through his music. People, hear what you do. Leave your thoughts as it relates to all of this inside the comment section and just let me know what you think. And if you want to hear the preview for yourself, my Instagram is on the screen right now. It will be in my Instagram story the next for the next 24 hours. You know how Instagram stories go. Take a look at my Instagram story and listen to unreleased music. Now people, we're heading over the skink side of this update. But as I've said, let me know what you think about this. So people, we're over on the Tamali Sparta and skink side of this update. Tamali Sparta took to his Instagram account a couple hours ago we reposted a photo with him and Skeng and the people take a look. So people, as you can see inside this photo, 
You have Tommy Sparta, the Spartan. You have Skin, the Ratty. No people. I'm not sure why the artists them link up. Well, you know, a strong reason don't, doesn't have to be there. Them can just feel for link up after all that time Tommy Sparta spent behind bars. Because people remember, Skin and Tommy Sparta do two songs. They collaborated two times while Tommy Sparta was behind bars. And as you can see on your screen, Protocol Part 1, 52 million views. Protocol Part 2, 6.1 million views. And you know that, no, that me I look into those view counts. It's crazy. Even Protocol Part 1, bro, 52 million views. Can you imagine, my people? Our oh, little skin with 52 million views and I upload on YouTube, my people, on one of his music videos. Skeng and Tamali Sparta. Well, people, you know that now me I look into it? Mood mind them do a protocol part three and seal off everything with three protocols. People, wanna think about that? The artist them link up and take a picture doesn't have to be assigned them a work on a song together. It's just good to see that them link up. It's just good to see them in a picture together. It's just good to see the artist them a live good. And people, as I say, this doesn't you know have to be one of those stuff where in which they post a picture so this is a sign of a new release. It doesn't have to be that and it don't have to have anything to do with that but I'm just hoping that it has something to do with that because people, Protocol Part 1 was a hit. It is a hit. Protocol Part 2, I'm not gonna lie, Protocol Part 1 may enjoy it better but Protocol Part 2 tough. It's sick as well. People, viewers, I would like for these two entertainers to do something for the fans, to do something for the world, for dancehall, and work on Protocol Part 3. I don't know how it would sound if they would use a rhythm that sounds like the Protocol Part 1 or 2 or whatever, but it would just be something good to work on Protocol Part 3, bro. And if them do it and don't make the fans expect it, you know, which is highly unlikely, but, you know, I would just like for them to do it. You know, people, just them what you think about everything I hear we talk about, everything I hear we discuss inside this review, inside the comment section box down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you stay notified with all our future uploads and updates surrounding dancehall and about dancehall. So, you know, people, stay blessed, stay safe. And definitely stay tuned for more content on Rice TV Entertainment. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Keep supporting our channel. Bless.